Hey guys, I'm Joe and I'll be showing you how to get started using Logic Pro X today. Firstly, you'll need to open up Logic. If you've already done so, we go up to File and just go Create New. Like that. And when you have done that, this window will pop up, which is the New Tracks window. And here you can select whether you want to use software instruments for some MIDI and synth work or audio for recording live sounds. Today we're going to have a look at software instruments. Now here you can select how many, uh, the number of tracks you want and we'll probably only need one today, so we'll leave it at that. Now that that's set up, we can start finding different sounds and getting Logic to play them for us. We'll start with a simple piano sound, and to do this you can click this button here at the top left, which is the library button, and it will bring down this big drop menu of lots of different MIDI sounds. So I'll select piano for now, and go for Yamaha Grand Piano, it's quite a nice and basic sound for what we'll be needing today. Now we have our piano, we can actually start making some sounds. If you press Command K on your keyboard, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, then it'll bring up this keyboard window inside Logic, and you'll letters on your keyboard will correlate with the notes in here. It's nice and easy, very handy thing to have. If you press Command K again, it'll close it, or you can hit this cross up here. Now we can start recording some piano. But I'll show you a couple of things quickly that are very relevant here. If you right click along the track here, then you can select Empty MIDI Region. And what this does is effectively bring up, bring up a blank score. If you do this, you can manually put the notes in yourself, but if I now hit record, If you notice in like that, then you'll see that the notes I've played have just appeared along the bottom here in what is called the piano roll. As you can see, there's a big piano up along the left side, and the notes here along here will correlate with the notes you've played, showing you what ones they are. Also, to help you keep track when you are further away, you can see that the background is grey and black, the grey being the white notes and the black being the black notes. Now to record, you can hit the record button up here at the top, or you can press R on your keyboard for the shortcut. You can change the tempo and the time signature up at the top here, and the presets for when you open up Logic is 120 BPM and the 4-4 time signature, which is very simple and pretty standard. Alright, so now I'll just record some basic chords in. And again, they will appear along the bottom here in the piano room. Now, if, like me, you aren't a perfect pianist, you may play a bum note every now and again, or it may not be perfectly in time. And to correct this, you can select what note it is, whatever one you want, and move it up or down to correct it, or back and forth for it to be in time. This can all be done for any instrument or synth that you choose, and it'll be the same process of playing, recording, and if need be, correcting every single time. I hope this video has been useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or write to me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.